Today I'm going to be showing you my take on medieval builds. I've seen a lot of medieval stuff in Minecraft, it's very common and I'll try my best to make all of them unique for this video. For the first one, I'm gonna be using the new 1.20 blocks like bamboo mixed with hay to make a haystack design. This gives a little variation and texture to the haystack and the colors really complement well with each other. I also added a couple of pressure plates and buttons for those tiny details. Next up, I'm going to show you my version of a medieval wooden cart, and while most of the carts you see in any other builds look mostly the same, this one is quite different from the ones you see in the photos, and I did my best to make this realistic while keeping it simple. In the front, I'll be using a jungle fence gate to match it with the lightning rod, and there's our medieval cart. It's looking very nice and simplistic. Again, if you don't want it empty, you can place some haze and bamboos in the cart, just like what we did in the haystack. Here we have a couple of lamps and signages for you to use. Here's a simple lamp post using a spruce fence and trapdoor with a regular lamp on the side. You can also use that to make a signage post like this one. It's very easy and has lots of uses. Feel free to change it up and get creative with it. Here we have another signage with two spruce signs and a brown candle on top. Here's another lamp or torch as they call it. This one uses a campfire and an oak sign. If you want to go for a smaller torch, you can use an actual torch or a lit brown candle. You can pick which ones you'd like. Next up, we have baskets and crates. Again, I'm only gonna show you this because they're easy to make just by looking at it. We have a large, small, and medium baskets combined with barrels, composters, and note blocks. Now, if you notice something different with these baskets is these monster spawner, which they added to the creative inventory now, and it looks like a cage or metal container, which Loki fits in the aesthetic. And we're just getting started. If you like what you see so far, hit that like button and let's get on with the next one. This is probably one of my favorite builds in this video just because it uses the new 1.20 blocks. This one is a cooking pot or a better version of a campfire and you can use this as an outdoor decoration for your village. And here I'm using all spruce wood on this one but you can also use any type of wood blocks if you want. In the middle, I'm gonna use a combination of chains, dark oak hanging signs, and dark oak trap doors to connect to the cauldron. Underneath it will be a cobblestone slab with some buttons for details. And to finish this off, I'm gonna place a campfire and lava on the cauldron for that hot red stew, and maybe some extra decorations as well. Another small detail to add to the cooking pot is a chopped piglin head with axe on the side of the log so it looks like you're cooking a piglin in the cooking pot. This next one is already featured in my dripstone build hacks and I hate to recycle it in this video but I had to show you this because they fit in the medieval theme. This one is a palisade or palisade and here I'm using jungle wood for the walls and this is to match with the dripstone textures I'll be placing. You can use spruce or dark oak but I prefer you use the jungle one just because the colors are almost alike. This next one is a simple target design using bamboo and hanging signs and this will act as the arms of the target. It works perfectly fine, just don't hit the sign itself cause it will just go through. Something to place alongside these targets is a notice board which is a perfect place for barracks as you can use these to write out plans and stuff and overall just a nice detail to add. Of course, I can't forget the important build in medieval which is making a simple well. So here's my very own version of it. A small one too because most of the well builds I've seen are too large for my liking. So I made it a bit compact while using the simplest and easiest blocks you can get. Thank you. 
There is another well I have in mind which is removing the bottom part of the well and keeping it open while still keeping the roof. If you notice the roof is connected using spruce hanging signs which I like better than the spruce sign. This time I'm going to add a bucket using a decorated pot because it's much better than a cauldron but we'll still add that to the side only with butter and some extra details. Let me know in the poll which well design you liked. You can vote it in my community tab, I made a poll on it, or you can click the link in the description to get there. Additionally, if you've been checking my community posts lately or following my socials, I've posted a well pump design that's supposed to be in the 1.20 build hacks video, but I decided to feature it in this video instead. What's so special about this build is the fact that the decorated pot sits well with the pump, especially with the blue stained glass paint as the dripping water on it. With a barrel, spruce fence, and brown candle, you can make a butter churn which is one of my favorites in this video because it just looks really simple. With the new 1.20 armor trims, it's now possible to add textures and patterns to our armors without any resource pack or mods, so I created a knight's plate armor inspired by this picture I found on Google. I'm going to be using tree silence armor trims with iron bars for this one, so as always, feel free to pause the video anytime. And there's our plate armor display which really fits in the castle for decoration and you can also change the colors to red, green, or yellow for those variations. If you watched my Wild Best Build Hacks video, which I highly recommend you do, I made a cowboy on a horse which I also think would work well with a knight. So with the plate armor we did, we'll just need to make the horse and the armor stand so we can create our knight on a horse. We got the sword, the knight, and the horse. Next, we're gonna add a shield to it using banners, and this will be the last step into making our knight complete. Again, feel free to pause or rewind the video. And finally, we have our knight on a horse complete. A bit awkward looking at the left side because of the sword but it's not that big of a deal. I made a couple more knights beside him and it looked really funny and nice. It looks like they're preparing for a war or something. Good to add on castles and stuff. Thanks for watching to the end and for that I have a bonus build for all of you who are still watching and that's a medieval chest using a barrel, smoker, spruce stairs, and cobblestone stairs. What's great about this build is that you have a lot of storage because of the 4 barrels and it's just a better chest in my opinion. Comment down below your favorite builds in this video, they are all pretty stacked. For updates and stuff, you can join my discord, like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye